Hello everyone and welcome to our next Coptic lesson. So now that we've learned all the letters, their pronunciation, and the rules, what we're going to be doing in the next few lessons is just practicing. So there will be some common phrases or phrases with common words in them. Uh, and we're going to practice reading with these. And I think it will be beneficial for all of you to familiarize yourself with these phrases. So when you go into the church services, uh, you can recognize these phrases uh, and have a good base of recognition. Now note that just watching these lessons probably won't make you uh, fluent in Coptic reading or very skilled. Uh, the best way to get very skilled uh, in Coptic reading is just practicing. So the way I learn is just practicing through the church services, trying my best to read along with the Coptic as the church services are going. You could alternatively in your own home just uh, open Coptic Reader or uh, maybe tizbaha.org and look at some hymns and just try to read the Coptic and keep doing this and as and with time you'll become more skilled. But right now this is just a good base of phrases and a good start for your practice. Okay, so right now here I've got a, a sequence that happens in uh, early in the Vesper prayers uh, comprising of some common responses that will be found very commonly all throughout the Coptic church services. So what I want you to do right now is just pause the video and try your best on your own with the knowledge we, you have so far to just read these phrases. Okay, so now that you've read those, uh, I'm just going to go over them quickly and some rules to try to remember. Okay, so this first one is Chen ben Christos Isos ben Choice. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, one, one main rule to remember is here, this part here, the O along with the Epsilon makes a double O sound. Uh, so that's an important rule to remember while, you, while you're trying to read Coptic. And this phrase means, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Okay, so the next word, uh, it's very short, very simple. Simply, it's just Ishlil. No special rules here. If you know the, uh, if you know the letters, you should be able to read this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here, this, this phrase here is AP, this word pretty simple, pretty close to uh, reading English. Eprosif she is Okay, so something to keep in mind here. We have here this little dash uh, above this letter and this letter, these P and C looking letters. Uh, this dash is called a jinkim and it makes an E sound. It's very important in the Coptic language uh, and it just uh, helps with the flow of things and it's very important to remember. And here we have this letter Epsilon. This letter has uh, different pronunciations depending on where it is in the word. Here uh, it's preceding a vowel, so it's after a vowel, so it makes a V sound. Okay, so here we've got these two words here, the next phrase. Pretty simple, irini posi, irini posi. Pretty simple uh, here, and it means peace be with all. Uh, and here, this next one is ke to epnevmati so. So uh, I've already mentioned these rule, rules. There's a jinkum which makes the s sound. The epsilon makes a v sound after a vowel. And the O and the, the Epsilon makes a double O sound. And this phrase here means, and with your spirit. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.